Okay, so the curriculum is changing, technology is changing, but the way we learn hasn't changed in decades. This, sorry, this is a picture of a classroom in the pioneer time, and this is a picture of a classroom today. As one can see, not much has changed. We are a consulting group of students that want to create an agile work and working environment for schools. We want to teach schools and education centers how to change their layout to better the learning environment for students. Good afternoon. My name is Sophia. My name is Matt. I'm Owen. And I'm Asia. And we want to welcome you to Eduflow. So an agile working environment is meant to be flexible, productive, and efficient for students to go to their different areas and be able to get stuff done depending on what they need for different classes. Uh, it's supposed to be cost efficient for the provider and use technology to save space and uh, resources. Traditional working uh, environments have students isolated and alone, whereas what we're trying to do, we're trying to change that and have students working in open spaces together so that they can form social and communication skills with the resources that we uh, give them for later. All right, so in the past decade, we've seen a major transition in the workplace from a more rigid and isolated work environment to something that's much more user-friendly. An environment that encourages creativity, uh, cooperation, teamwork, and outside-the-box thinking. It's comfortable and it uh, appreciates many different learning styles. The modern workplace is proving greatly successful and it's an edge of flow's greater belief that the education system could learn from that success and incorporate similar strategies. All right, so that's us right here and this is a place that's uh, a dynamic, uh, agile workplace. Uh, we've been, uh, been here for the last few hours and we've got a lot of work done. And so some, here are some agile... Uh... Right here, these are some agile working environments. These are examples of some education centers that have used this idea and statistics have shown that it has actually benefited students. So we propose to incorporate beneficial tools to assist students with their various learning styles. Might that be through circle tables like we have right here, or even standing tables and desks, um, collaborative working spaces, or independent working spaces for students that they need, or even wheelie chairs, stuff like that. Okay, so our plan. We plan on putting our idea to the test in a classroom first. We will take into account the students' marks and learning styles. We will also watch them grow with their new design, seeing if they also obtain better marks and understanding of the design. If it has a positive effect on the students, Use the microphone. learning, we will plan on expanding to the Durham Hackett District School Board and the Durham District School Board. Would you like her to just repeat that so you guys could hear it, or was that okay? I heard it okay, but I don't know if I heard it. Okay. Yeah. Right. Right. This table we can hear because we're okay. close, but not to the back. We, oh, we're good? You want me to? Okay. Okay. It's good, it's good. Okay, so the, our goal is to franchise our company out with bigger designing firms, and then we hope to leave a lasting impact on the students of Ontario and the education system. EduFlow is the way to go. Let's learn with agility. That was a really interesting presentation. Thank you for bringing energy to the last one. It was excellent. Um, actually, I'd like to validate your concept. When I was on the uh, Queen's University board, we did campus planning. We were looking at how to redo classrooms to provide less more uh, less professor down to students and more group, etc., and more flexible training. So a lot of these things are already being implemented. I think you could probably even find some of the research from different university campuses, how they're being implemented, and use that as some of your implement information. I wonder also if there would be an opportunity to bring in, say, people that are experts in ergonomics and a few other things like that to make, if you're looking at the workplace as well, to yes. make it a really well-rounded program. Um, I think the first thing you might need is you might need somebody with some certain designation, um, whether it be industrial design or whatever, just to give your organization credibility. Yeah. So that might be your next step. Okay, thank you. Yeah. That wasn't really a question, sorry, that was a ramble. No. Sometimes it's questions, sometimes it's commentary. Uh, really, really good presentation. I, I 
I mean, we see this in a lot of spaces we go into now where it's people are rethinking just how it all goes. Um, I think it's great. Yeah, it's, I, I do think that you're just going to have to bring in, I know you have to have, there's, there's specific people that train to be kind of designers for offices, yeah. so it's it's selling that concept to them. But yeah, I think it's a great idea. I, I'm not sure about the franchising. Okay. Um, that's just a whole other world. But if yeah. you want to talk to someone about that understands franchising, then I have some connections that yeah, you can sure. chat with them about for sure. Um, so when I go down to Air Miles, the head office, I see this. Okay. Um, how is this different than what is already out there that does exist, for example, at an Air Miles where they have, uh, nobody gets an office, there's no boardrooms anymore, everything's in an open space, uh, they have cool tables, coffee, espressos, machine. How would you differentiate? Help me to understand that a little better, please. Well, I don't think it's that different. I have, uh, the point we're trying to make really is that uh, well, that's been happening in a lot of different places uh, nowadays in the last decade. It hasn't really changed in uh, schools and uh, school boards. So, uh, yeah, our idea would be to try this out first on the uh, well here and see uh, see what it goes. So then consider getting someone like an Air Miles, for example, or someone in that space that can help you validate that when you do leave, you do go to that environment. So if you're going from this to that, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Good job, that's one.